Happening today, election officials in both Broward and Miami-Dade counties are testing equipment weeks before the Florida primary. The goal is to have no issues throughout early voting and primary day. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Lauder Hill with how this testing is going. Joan. Well, they just did a test of 62 machines here, Carly, at the Voting Equipment Center here in Lauder Hill. Everything seemed to be fine. Now, those machines represent about 2% of the total machines that will be used countywide in the March 17th primary. Now, the voting machine accuracy testing we're talking about is a ritual we see before every election. The Broward Canvassing Board is here. Uh, the Canvassing Board, of course, includes the supervisor, circuit judge, and a county commissioner. They're here to make sure that everything runs smoothly. I talked with County Commissioner Michael Udine to get his take on everything. He volunteered to serve as a member of the Canvassing Board after that troubling midterm election in 2018 in Broward. He says he does have more confidence Broward can get it right this time. We've added more machines. So we've, the county commission appropriated more dollars so that there could be more counting machines. We have upgraded the type of machines they're using. They've gone now to the 4G, which is the next level of technology, which is better. They've strengthened the virtual private network for counting. They've done some different things on how they're gonna tabulate it, and they've made some efficiency improvements. So far, I saw that for the last two elections, but they were much smaller. So this is one of the bigger elections now that we're gonna have, and I'm anxious to see the uh, upgrades. I'm anxious to see the, the, the better flow of getting this information out correctly and getting this information out in timely fashion. Now, they did a similar uh, voting machine test down in Miami-Dade County. We spoke to the supervisor there, Christina White, about cybersecurity, of course, on everybody's mind and what they're doing to prevent hacking. We've spent a significant amount of resources in our hardening our cybersecurity posture and our physical security posture. Um, we're very lucky because we have an entire department dedicated to that here in the county. So we're doing everything that we can to make sure that we're ready. The most important thing that I can tell our voters is that we vote on a paper ballot here in the state of Florida. So that is something that is unhackable. At the end of an election, in any event, if we ever have to go back to that paper record, we have it. So we always have paper as a backup, but everybody is hoping everything will run smoothly in the upcoming March 17th primary. We are live this noon in Lauder Hill. Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.